Assalamu alaikum students, I am Vaseem Ikram. This is the fifth lecture in a series of 45 lectures on digital logic design. How are you today? I hope you, you have been keeping well. Today we will talk about a new topic which is a very interesting topic of application. But before that, uh, let us uh, have a look at the material which we covered in the last lecture. In the last lecture, we looked at the octal number system, which is in fact a base 8 number system. It gives you 8 different values. Use kaha hota hai octal number system? We said when you write long uh, strings of binary numbers, then you could uh, generate an error. Likhne mein galti ho sakti hai So, uh, to represent long strings of binary numbers, you use uh, the octal representation. Hexadecimal number system ke hote huye, octal number system itna frequently used nahi hota. But still, since we are studying uh, different number systems, so uh, octal is again an important system, number system. Uh, we talked about converting from binary to octal, octal to binary, then octal to decimal, decimal to octal. Standard methods use ho rahe and divide by 8 wala, sum of 8 method wo sare use ho rahe Next, we talked about uh, alternate representations. Pehle humne char representation ki thi, two's complement, unsigned and signed magnitude, floating point. Iske alawa bhi kuch representations hain, jo khas applications mein use ho rahi hain. We talked about the excess code. Excess code ka main use kaha hai pe hai, floating point representation mein humne use kiya tha. Uh, eight uh, bit jo exponent field hai. Usko hum biased value ke saath represent kar rahe hain, excess value ke saath represent kar rahe We also talked about the BCD code. BCD code we said was the binary coded decimal. Uh, when we need to display uh, decimal numbers or write decimal numbers, we generate a binary code to represent those decimal digits 0 to 9. So, we have to use a 4 bit binary code which has 10 different values to represent numbers 0 to 9 of course. Gray code ki bhamne baat ki thi. Gray code uh, we said is not a positional code jo baki binary codes hain. Hexadecimal number bhi or uh, octal number system bhi sare jo hain positional code pe based kar rahe Gray code we said is not a positional based code. Uh, the important thing about gray code is that when you count let's say 4 say up 3 count kar rahe hain, 4 say 5 count kar rahe hain, successive numbers the number of bits that change is limited to 1 uske humne ek application uh, dekhi thi koi aapke paas motor hai rotating machine hai to uska aapne maloom karna hai ki kis angle pe wo hai so you attach a disk aur usko gray code ke through code kar le usme so when the machine rotates you would get to see different numbers and those numbers would represent the actual position in terms of angles We also talked about uh, alpha numerical codes. Alpha numerical code ki zarurat isliye padti hai ki aapke paas uh, jab aap text likhte hain usme aapke paas characters aate hain a b c d small a b c d punctuation marks aa rahe hain usme numbers bhi hote hain. Abhi tak jitne bhi humne codes discuss ki thi they all deal with um, positive negative numbers fractions and uh, of course integers. So ascii code is a 7 bit code which gives you up to 128 unique symbols. Har ek symbol ka ek binary 7 bit representation ban rahe jo ki aap digital system mein store kar rahe hain use kar rahe hain. We talked about an extended version of the ASCII code which is an 8 bit ASCII code. 8 bit ASCII code allows you up to 256 different uh, characters or unique codes. Isse bhi bhar ke agar aapko uh, unique characters chahiye, then you have another code, the unicode, just me 16 bit representation hai. So, you can represent up to 64,000 characters. The last two topics which we discussed was the, the, the detection of errors using the parity bit. So, we said uh, one way of detecting an error is to use the odd parity, the other way is to use the even parity. So, to both the methods are very similar. When you detect an error, you cannot correct it. Wo ek alada subject hai. Up till now, we have been talking about numbers or characters which we represent 
in terms of binary digits or uh, bits. Now, the important question is, ये सारी information process कैसे करेंगे? जो digital digital systems हैं, जिनको ये information चाहिए, वो इसको use कैसे कर रहे हैं इसमें? Well, in the first lecture, we mentioned that digital systems are based on basically digital circuits. और जो building block है, that is the logic gate. So logic gate is the most important component or the smallest component which can be combined with other logic gates to form a digital circuit. So today we would be talking about logic gates. Now before we move on and discuss about logic gates, uh, let's uh, discuss an example. एक मोटरसाइकिल है। अब मोटरसाइकिल को यूज़ करने से पहले उसके बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए। For example, how many liters of fuel does it require? What is its maximum speed? How frequently should you service the motorcycle? How many, how much load can it carry? तीन बंदे नहीं बैठने, दो बंदे बैठने हैं उसमें। now, if you meet or fulfill all the specifications, then of course you would be able to use the motorcycle for a longer duration of time. अगर आप उसको misuse कर रहे हैं तो जल्दी खराब हो जाएगा। Now, in electronic terms, each component which you use in an electric circuit has its specifications and characteristics. So, each component has to be used based on those characteristics. For example, आपके पास एक transistor है. Transistor के तीन pins होती हैं उसमें. So before you can use the transistor, you should know कि वो करता क्या है. You should also know what are the input voltages and what are the output voltages. एक और important perhaps criteria है कि उसका gain क्या है. Input voltage जो आप उसको देंगे, output voltage क्या आ रहा है इसमें. Frequency response. There are different characteristics which you have to study. Now, when you implement an electric circuit, how would you describe it to somebody? Well, to describe an electric circuit which you have implemented, you draw a circuit diagram. It's like the architecture, uh, the architect who draws your house plan. जब आप घर बनाते हैं, architect जो है पहले सारा नक्शा बनाएगा उसमें, वो indicate करेगा दरवाजे किधर हैं, खिड़कियाँ किधर हैं, कमरा किधर है, किचन किधर है। Similarly, when you implement a digital circuit, you have to draw a circuit diagram. Circuit diagram में क्या होगा? Connections बताएं होंगे कि कौन सा component किसके साथ connect हो रहा है। The components themselves, for example, transistor use हो रहा है, तो कौन सा वाला transistor है? Transistor को circuit diagram में दिखाएंगे कैसे? उसका एक unique symbol है। Resistor, for example, उसका क्या symbol है? वो it's a zigzag line, capacitor. क्या है कैपेसिटर आपको दो हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस नजर आ रही होती हैं सो दिस आर दी सिंबल्स ऑफ दिस कंपोनेंट्स नो लेट्स टर्न बैक टू लॉजिक गेट्स लॉजिक गेट्स वी सेड आर दी बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स और दी बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ ए डिजिटल सर्किट और ए डिजिटल सिस्टम नो व्हेन यू डिजाइन ए डिजिटल in the circuit diagram, what do you see? You would be seeing all those gates which are connected to each other. So each gate would be uniquely represented by a symbol. Now, when you connect all these gates, you also need to know how these gates function. What are their characteristics? So today we would be looking at all these gates which are used in uh, digital logic design or digital circuits. And we would be, uh, the, the issues which we would be looking at would of course be the symbol. Symbol ek gate ka and gate hum describe karenge, or gate describe karenge, symbol kya hai. What else, what is the other important information which you need to know about a gate? Kaam kaise karta hai? What is its function? Kya inputs denge, uska output kis kism ka aega? Ab kisi ko aapne ek gate ke baare mein batana hai, so how would you convey that information? Well, one way is to draw out a table. Table में आप जितने भी inputs हैं, वो आप लिखते हैं कि ये ये inputs आ रहे हैं and the corresponding output values. So 
One way of describing the function of a logic gate is through a truth table or a function table where you list all the inputs and the corresponding output values. Another way of describing uh, the function of a logic gate would be by writing a mathematical expression or a formula. So, two ways of describing the uh, function of a logic gate. The other important issue which we need to know about a logic gate is its performance for a certain period of time. Now, when you connect a logic gate in a circuit diagram, you would be continuously applying signals to its input. So, for example, let us suppose a uh, AND gate hai jo aap 10 second ke liye istamal kar rahe. So, for 10 seconds you would be wearing the inputs. So, of course, for the 10 second time period you would be getting either different outputs or the same outputs. So, you need to uh, convey that information as well. So, how would you convey that information that how a gate uh, works during that 10 second interval through a timing diagram. So, when we would when we describe an A, A and, and gate or any other uh, gate, we would be describing or we would be uh, identifying the gate through its symbol. We would be describing its function through a truth table or a function table we can also write an expression which represents the operation or the function of the gate and we would also be describing or writing out its timing diagram. So, now let us look at the different gates which are used in digital logic circuits. Basically, there are three gates which are used the AND gate, the OR gate and the inverter. Let us start by looking at the AND gate. Now, an AND gate is represented by a symbol which is a, a which is a closed U lying on its side. You will see uh, the exact diagram of the symbol which represents the AND gate. Uh, an AND gate can have a number of inputs, but it has to be more than one. So, it could be a two input AND gate, three input, four input, multiple inputs can be there. And A AND gate always has a single output. So, if you see the symbol of a two input AND gate, you would see two lines which represent the two inputs and a one line at the other end uh, or towards the curved end of the U which indicates the output of the AND gate. So, this is the symbol. If it is a three input AND gate, you would see three lines at the input indicating the three different inputs. So, multiple input uh, AND gates would have multiple lines at the input end. Now, how would you describe the operation of this AND gate? We said we would be using a truth table or a function table. Let us consider the example of a two input AND gate. Kitni possibilities ho sakti hai? Kitne different hum inputs de sakte hain, uh, to a two input AND gate. Of course, binary mein baat kar rahe So, look, uh, you could apply both zeros at the both inputs or a combination of 0 and a 1 or 1 0 or 1 1. So, four possible combinations of apply kar sakte hain, uh, at the input of a two input AND gate. What is the output for each of these four combinations? Agar 0 0 input hai, the output is 0. Agar 0 1 input hai, the output is again 0. Agar input 1 0 hai, the output is again 0. Only for the input 1 1, the output is 1. Ye basically, kaun sa function implement kar hai? Well, if you remember, jab humne binary multiplication ki baat ki thi, binary multiplication mein exactly yehi ho tha. When we multiplied two single binary bits, then when both the bits were 1s, only then the answer was a 1. For all other combinations, the answer was a 0. So, if you say that you multiplication implement kare, for binary numbers of course, well you can use an AND gate. It Im implements the multiply function. Now, how would you represent uh, the operation or the function of this AND gate in terms of an equation? Well, let us uh, consider that 
f indicates the output of the AND gate and a input a and b indicates the two inputs of the AND gate. So, the equation would be or the function representing the operation of the AND gate would be f equals to a dot b, the dot is the AND operator. Now, if the AND gate is a multiple input AND gate, let us suppose char inputs hai, a, b, c and d. So, phir kaise aap likhenge uski expression? It would be f equals to a dot b dot c dot d. Uh, char input AND gate ka to table ya function table kya hoga? Well, it would have four inputs or four input columns a, b, c, d and a single output column f. Kitni possible combinations hain? Remember, char bit input hai. So, if you use a 4 bit input binary number, you can get 16 different combinations. So, in 16 different input combinations, ke 16 different outputs honge. Kya outputs honge aapke khayal se? Well, for all cases except for the case where the inputs are all ones, the output would be 0. So, once again, Agar aapka input jo hai tamam ones hai, the output would be 1. For all other cases, the output would be a 0. So, this satisfies the function, the expression we, which we had written or ya multiply function jo hai, usko satisfy kar as well. Now, let us look at the timing diagram. Let us suppose you connect this two input AND gate and you apply different inputs for let us say a time period of 10 seconds. Inputs vary kar rahe hai So, what do you get at the output? You would get 10 different outputs or perhaps the same output, it depends on the input values. Is timing diagram ko kaise aap dekhenge, kaise isko samjhenge? So, let us have a look at a slide which shows the timing diagram of an AND gate. The combination of 1s and zeros applied at the A input of the AND gate is represented by the timing uh, diagram, the timing shape A. The combination of zeros and 1s applied at the B input of the AND gate is shown by the, uh, the wave shape B. Now, both these inputs vary over a time period of 7 time intervals T0 to T6. Now, let us have a look at the output. Now, in the time interval T0, the input A and B both are logic 1. So, what is the output? Well, considering the function table, the output has to be a 1. Consider the time interval T1, the input A is 0, the input B is 1. So, what should be the output? It should be 0. Similarly, at time interval T2, uh, the input A is 1, the input B is 0, the output is again 0. At time interval T3, both the inputs A and B are logic 1, the output should be 1 as uh, seen in the timing diagram uh, F. At intervals T4, T5 and T6, the output is 0 because the inputs have a 0 value. The diagram, uh, the timing diagram which we saw uh, describes the operation of the AND gate for 7 time intervals. Well, we can extend this time interval to let us say 100 time intervals or 200 time intervals. Uh, the thing which I forgot to tell you, uh, there is an alternate symbol which represents the AND gate. It is a square uh, with one uh, pin at the output which indicates the output and two lines at the input side. Within the square, you have an ampersand symbol which basically indicates an AND gate. Now, let us look at the OR gate. The OR gate is represented by a symbol which is similar to a V lying on its side. The end, uh, the V is a closed V of course. The, the, the corner of the V has the output of the OR gate and the other end, the close end of the V has the inputs. So, like the AND gate, OR gate can be a multiple input OR gate. Of course, inputs have to be more than 1. So, the minimum number of inputs have to be 2, maximum 10B ho sakte hai, 12B ho sakte hai 
نارملی جو آپ یوز کر رہے ہوتے ہیں یو ہیو تھری انپٹ اور گیٹس فور انپٹ فائیو سکس تک جا رہے ہوتے ہیں ہاؤ ڈز این اور گیٹ فنکشن اور ریدر واٹ از دی فنکشن آف این اور گیٹ ناؤ دیٹ کین بی ڈسکرائب بائی لوکنگ ایٹ دی فنکشن ٹیبل اور دی ٹروتھ ٹیبل آف این اور گیٹ لیٹ از کنسڈر دی ٹو انپٹ اور گیٹ ناؤ ہاؤ مینی انپٹس آف کورس ٹو انپٹس سو انپٹ اے انپٹ بی ہاؤ مینی آؤٹ پٹس آف کورس اور گیٹس ہیو اے سنگل آؤٹ پٹ سو دی آؤٹ پٹ از آؤٹ پٹ ایف ہاؤ مینی انپٹ کمبینیشنس کین وی اپلائی ٹو اے ٹو انپٹ اور گیٹ اگین اٹس ٹو ریز ٹو پاور ٹو سو فور ڈفرنٹ انپٹ کمبینیشنس وٹ آر دوز انپٹ کمبینیشنس ویل زیرو 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 ون ون زیرو اینڈ ون ون آؤٹ پٹ کیا آئے گا ویل فار دی کمبینیشن زیرو زیرو دی آؤٹ پٹ از زیرو فار دی کمبینیشن زیرو ون دی آؤٹ پٹ از اے ون فار دی انپٹ کمبینیشن ون زیرو دی آؤٹ پٹ از اگین اے ون فار دی انپٹ کمبینیشن ون ون دی آؤٹ پٹ از اگین ون سو اور گیٹ کے کیس میں جب انپٹ دونوں انپٹس اگر زیرو ہوں اونلی دین دی آؤٹ پٹ از زیرو فار آل ادر کیسز دی آؤٹ پٹ از ون اس کو اگر آپ دیکھیں اس کو کمپیئر کریں اینڈ ایف یو ری کال بائنری ایڈیشن جب ہم نے کی تھی اس میں کیا تھا ویری سملر جب ہم نے ون اور ون کو ایڈ کیا تھا وی ہیڈ اے سم پارٹ وچ واز زیرو اینڈ اے کیری پارٹ ٹھیک ہے اگر اور گیٹ کے آپریشن کو دیکھیں سو وہ ون اور ون از ڈفرنٹ باقی تقریباً ملتا جلتا ہے رائٹ سو اور گیٹ آپریشن از ڈسکرائبڈ ایز اے بولین ایڈیشن نا وٹ ہیپنس اف وی ہیو اے تھری انپٹ اور اے فور انپٹ اور گیٹ وہ کیسے بہیو کرے گا ویل لیٹس کنسڈر دی ایگزامپل آف اے فور انپٹ اور گیٹ سو فور انپٹس ہوں گے اے بی سی اینڈ ڈی آؤٹ پٹ آف کورس ایک ہی رہے گا ایف اگین کتنی کمبینیشنس انپٹ کمبینیشنس ہو سکتی ہیں ویل چار بٹس ہیں چار انپٹس ہیں سو سولہ ڈفرنٹ کمبینیشنس ہو سکتی ہیں ٹو ریز ٹو پاور فور سکسٹین نا ون ون آؤٹ پٹ جو ہے کن کمبینیشنس کے لیے آئے گا ویل ایف یو لک ایٹ دی فنکشن ٹیبل اور دی ٹو ٹیبل فار دی ٹو انپٹ آر گیٹ یو وڈ سی دیٹ اگین ایف آل دی فور انپٹس آر آل زیروز اونلی دین دی آؤٹ پٹ وڈ بی زیرو فار آل ادر کمبینیشنس آف کورس دی آؤٹ پٹ وڈ بی اے ون اچھا یہ جو اور گیٹ کا فنکشن ہے ایک تو طریقہ ہم نے یہ بتا دیا کہ ٹو ٹیبل یا فنکشن ٹیبل سے آپ ڈسکرائب کر رہے ہیں رائٹ اس کو اکویژن کی فارم میں یا ایکسپریشن کی فارم میں کیسے لکھا جائے گا ویل لیٹس اگین کنسڈر دی ایگزامپل آف دی ٹو انپٹ اینڈ اور گیٹ سو دی ایکسپریشن وڈ بی ایف ایکولس ٹو اے پلس بی سو دی پلس آپریٹر انڈیکیٹس دی اور آپریشن یہ وہ ایڈ والا سمبل نہیں ہے دی پلس سائن ہیئر انڈیکیٹس دی اور آپریشن دی اور گیٹ ایسے واز ریپرزینٹیڈ بائی اے کلوزڈ وی لائنگ آن اٹس سائڈ این آلٹرنیٹ سمبولک ریپرزینٹیشن آف این اور گیٹ از اے اسکوئر ود ون لائن ایٹ ون اینڈ ریپرزینٹنگ دی آؤٹ پٹ اینڈ سم مور لائنز آن دی ادر اینڈ ریپرزینٹنگ دی ان پٹ ود ان دی اسکوئر یو ہیو این ایکول ٹو گریٹر دین سائن وچ ریپرزینٹس دی اور گیٹ نا we would be interested in the timing diagram of an OR gate. That is, if a certain set of inputs, continuous inputs are applied at the input of an OR gate, what would be its output? How would it behave? So let us have a look at the timing diagram of an OR gate. Let us consider a two input OR gate uh, and having inputs A and B. A combination of ones and zeros is applied at the input A and again another combination of ones and zeros is applied at the input B. The, timing, uh, ti uh, ti the timing diagram shows uh, both the inputs A and B. The output remains high for the entire uh, time interval that is from T0 to T6. Let's see why. Well, considering the time interval T0, the input is high or logic 1, the input B is high or logic 1. Now, referring to the function table or the truth table for the OR gate, the output should be A1. Considering the time interval T1, 
the input A is a 0, the input B is a 1. So, what should be the output? If any input is 1, the output has to be a 1. Similarly, for time interval T2, the input A is a 1, the input B is a 0. So, what is the output? It should be again 1. If any input is a 1, the output has to be a 1. Similarly, if you look at intervals T3, T4, T5 and T6, in these four intervals either both the inputs are logic 1 or only a single input is logic 1. For all these four cases, the output has to be a 1. We just looked at the timing diagram of a two input OR gate and we observed the inputs and the outputs for a time interval of 7 T 0 say like T 6 tak. OR gate ko OR kyun kehte hain? Well, uh, the English word OR means this OR this. So, if you look at the function table, if any input is 1, the output is 1, right. So, this OR this is a 1. You see the AND gate ko AND kyu kehte hain? Again, it is the English word AND. That means, this and this should give you the output. So, if both the inputs are 1s, only then you would have the output 1. If any of the inputs is a 0, then of course, the output is not going to be a 1. Let us look at the third gate, the inverter gate. The inverter gate is also known as a NOT gate. Symbolically, you could represent kaise karenge? Bada simple sa, iska symbol hai. It is a triangle uh, with a line leading into the triangle and another line coming out of the, uh, the, the, the corner of the triangle. At the corner or the pointed end of the triangle, you have a bubble, a circle. Okay. Ye symbol represent kya kar Well, the input applied at the NOT gate is inverted at the output. Now, as you can see from the symbol, a NOT gate has a single input and a single output. This is the only gate which has a single input. The output is of course, 1. Let us have a look at the complete function of a NOT gate. So, the function table would have an input column A and output column how many combinations can we apply at the input? Since we only have a single input, so you could only apply either a 0 or a binary 1. So, if you apply a 0 at the input of a NOT gate or an inverter gate, what do you get at the output? Basically, 0 invert hoke output pe aare, so you would get a 1. Now, if you apply a 1 at the input, what do you get at the output? Again, wo invert hoke aare, so it, you would get a 0 at the output. Isko expression ki form mein kaise likhenge? Is function ko expression ki form mein kaise represent karenge? Well, if f is the output, so the expression representing the operation of an odd gate would be f equals to a bar, a ke upar bar hai. So, in uh, digital uh, logic, whenever you see a bar on top of a letter, that means that uh, particular variable has been inverted. So, a is an input variable. Okay. So, bar means wo invert ho gaya and that is equal to the output f. Now, can you have a multiple input NOT gate? Well, we said no. Inverter ya NOT gate ka kaam ye hai ki ek hi input ko leke invert kar raha usme. So, it is not possible to have multiple inputs. Or output to hota hi ek hai. Now, let us have a look at the timing diagram of an inverter. How would it behave when we apply a set of zeros and ones at the input of a NOT gate? Since the inverter or the NOT gate has only a single input, so you can only apply a sequence of zeros and ones at the input A, which is shown in the diagram. It, the inverter or the NOT gate has a single output, so the output is shown by the uh, the timing uh, diagram uh, represented by f. Let us discuss the inputs and outputs during different intervals. At t0, the input is 1. Since the NOT gate inverts the input, so what should be the output? It should be 0. 
similarly at interval t1 the input is 0. So the output should be inverse of this so it is a1. Similarly during intervals t2 and t3 the input remains a1 the output has to be a 0. And similarly for uh, intervals t4, t5 and t6 you can see that the output has been inverted. We have just looked at the timing diagram of a NOT gate. Before we move on any further, let us have a look at the use of these three gates, the AND gate, the OR gate and the NOT gate. So let us have a look at the diagrams. The AND gate can be used to enable or disable a device. Consider a counter. How does a counter count? Well, it is connected to a clock input. So, as the counter receives the clock pulses, it increments its count. So, perhaps it is at the number 1, it receives a clock pulse, it increments to 2, it receives another clock pulse, it increments to number 3 and so on. Now, you can disable the counter by stopping the clock pulse from reaching the counter input. So, how do you do that? You connect an AND gate to the input of the clock input of the counter. Now, the AND gate has the input A and another input B. The clock is connected to input A of the AND gate and the input B is connected to a switch. If the switch is set to 1, the AND gate would allow the clock pulses to be available at its output. So, the counter would start counting. If the input of AND gate B is disabled or set to 0, what would be the output of the AND gate? It would be 0. So, no matter what the clock is, it is high, it is high or low, the output would remain a 0. So, in fact, by setting the input B of the AND gate to 0, you have disabled the output, the output remains a 0 and the counter does not count. Now, let us consider the application of an OR gate. A car has four doors. So, an OR gate can be used to sound an alarm if any of the four doors is open. Let us have a circuit which generates 5 volts when any door is open. So, let us suppose all the doors are closed. So, the four circuits would be generating a 0. If all the outputs of these four circuits are connected to the four inputs of an OR gate, what would be the output? It would be a 0. Let us suppose the front left door is open. The circuit would generate 5 volts. Now, this is considered to be a logic 1. So, what are the inputs to the OR gate? Well, the three inputs would be 0 the single input which is connected to the circuit of the front left door would be 1. What is the output? It is a 1. Now, the output of the OR gate is connected to an alarm. So, now whenever any of the four doors or all four doors are open, the inputs would be 1s corresponding to the open door. The output would of course be 1 and the alarm would be sounded. Let us consider the application of NOT gate. We talked about calculating the 2's complement of a number. So, how do you calculate the 2's complement? Well, you first calculate the 1's complement. How do you calculate the 1's complement? You basically invert the, uh, the entire number. So, if the number is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, its 1 complement would be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 1 0 1. So, how do you perform this one's complement? By using NOT gates. So, how many NOT gates do you require? Since the number is an 8 bit number, so you would require 8 NOT gates. We have just looked at applications of the AND gate, the OR gate and the NOT gate. Now, before we move on, let us look at alternate representations of the AND gate and the OR gate. Symbolically, the AND gate is represented by a closed U lying on its side. The AND gate symbol can also be represented 
by the OR gate, the closed V symbol. But the inputs have bubbles and the output also has a bubble. So the general rule is if you need to represent a gate by its alternate symbol, you just select the other symbol. Agar AND gate ka symbol hai, aap uska alternate symbol kya hai? OR gate ka symbol, wo select kar The other thing which you need to do is to put bubbles at the inputs and the outputs jahan pe pehle nahi hai. So, if you consider the original AND gate symbol, it does not have bubbles at the inputs or the outputs. So, when you select the alternate symbol which is the closed V, you would put bubbles at the inputs and the outputs. Okay. Is symbol ko agar hum define karein, padna chayein, what does it represent? The OR gate symbol indicates this or this, right? So, since a two input AND gate has two bubbles, at the inputs, that means 0 or 0, what should be the output? The output again has a bubble. So, the output is 0. So, this means this 0 or this 0 would give you a 0 at the output. Now, if you look at the function table of an AND gate, what do you get at the output? Well, if any of the inputs is a 0, the output is a 0. So, ye jo alternate symbol hai, ye exactly usi cheez ko explain kar hai. Let's look at the OR gate symbol. The OR gate symbol is of course the closed V lying on its side. The alternate symbol which represents the OR gate is the AND symbol. Iske jo inputs hai, outputs hai, odar saaron pe aapne ek bubble dal dana. Bubble, what does the bubble mean? It means invert ho raha Right. So, let us see what this alternate symbol for an OR gate represents. It means 0 and 0 should give you a 0 output. Right. Now, if you just remember or you look at the function diagram or the truth table of the OR gate, 1 ka baat hai? If any of the inputs or all inputs are a 1, if both inputs are a 0, what do you get? The output is a 0. So, this is what the second uh, symbol represents. We have just looked at the alternate symbolic representations of the AND gate and the OR gate. In the handouts, I have given some examples. So, that would help explain the alternate representations of the AND gate and the OR gate. Uh, by the way, the inverter gate can be alternately represented by a bubble not at its output, but at the input. So, inverter bhi do tarikon se aap represent kar sakte hai, symbolically. Now, let us go back to the gates. We have talked about AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. Uh, let us continue our discussion with the NAND gate. NAND gate basically again, it has multiple inputs and a single output. The number of inputs has to be more than one and of course, zyada ho sakte hai, das, bara ho sakte hai what does the NAND gate do? Basically, it is a combination of the AND gate and a NOT gate. So, if you connect a NOT gate at the output of an AND gate, that would give you a NAND gate. Let us look at the function table or the truth table of a NAND gate. Let us consider the two input NAND gate. So, what are the inputs A and B? What is the output F? Again, kitni combinations hongi? It is a two input NAND gate. So, you have four different combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Output kya hoga? Well, for 0, 0, the output is A1. For the combination 0, 1, what is the output? Again, it is 1. For the combination 1, 0, what is the output? Again, it is A1. For the input combination 1, 1, what is the output? It is a 0. Now, if you compare the output of an AND gate with that of an AND gate, you would see a direct inversion between the two outputs. So, that is what we explained earlier. NAND gate is made up of an AND gate along with a NOT gate connected to its output. Let us have a look at a mathematical expression which describes the function of a NAND gate. Well, we are using a two input uh, NAND gate. So, it has inputs A and B. So, the expression would be F equals to A dot B and bar. 
over the entire expression. Uh, bar, we said, represents the inversion. So, in fact, the product of A and B is being inverted. Simple kya hoga NAND gate ka? Well, it is very similar to that of the AND gate with a bubble at the output, which indicates that the output is being inverted. Let us have a look at the timing diagram of a NAND gate. Again, we apply a certain number of inputs, uh, rather a train of uh, binary numbers at the inputs and we observe the output and we simply draw a timing diagram which explains the behavior during that particular time interval. Let us consider the example of a two input NAND gate. You apply a series of ones and zeros at both the inputs A and B which are shown in the diagram. The output f is again shown in the diagram. Let us consider the time interval t0. At time interval t0, both the inputs are a 1. What should be the output? Referring to the truth table of the NAND gate, the output should be 0. Whenever all the inputs are 1s, the output is 0. Consider the time interval t1. The input b is a 1, whereas input a is a 0. So, what should be the output? Referring to the uh, function table or the truth table of the NAND gate, if any one of the inputs is a 0, the output is going to be a 1. So, during time interval t1, you see a 1 at the output. Similar is the case with time interval t2. Uh, input b is a 0, so the output has to be a 1. Looking at interval t3, both the inputs are 1s, so the output has to be a 0. Intervals T4, T5 and T6, you see an output which is high or 1. Why? Because during intervals T4, T5 and T6, one of the inputs is a 0. We have just looked at the timing diagram of a 2 input NAND gate. Before we move on and talk about the universal NAND gate, uh, let us uh, talk about a 3 input or a 4 input NAND gate. Do we have a 3 input, 4 input NAND gate? Yes, NAND gate can have multiple inputs, more than 2 inputs like the AND gate and the OR gate. Function table kya hoga iska, uh, let's say a 4 input NAND gate. Again, we wala jo AND gate ke case mein or OR gate ke case mein tha. You have inputs A, B, C and D, you have 16 possible combinations. So, you have 16 possible outputs. So, NAND, uh, 4 input NAND gate ka output kya hoga usme? Well, again, if all the four inputs are ones, what do you get? You get a zero. For all other combinations, you would get a one. Four input NAND gate ka expression, mathematical expression, jo hai, wo kya hoga? Well, basically, it is f equals to a dot b dot c dot d, an entire bar over the entire expression, which indicates that, of course, the product of a, b, c, and d is being inverted. Now, let us see why we call a NAND gate a universal NAND gate. Well, if we have a NAND gate, we can use the NAND gate to uh, implement an inverter, a NOT gate. We can use it to implement an AND gate. We can use it to implement an OR gate. Let us see how we can use a NAND gate to implement an inverter. Okay, let us consider a two input NAND gate. What happens if you connect both the inputs together? So, now, if you connect both the inputs together, you can only apply a single input. Single input kya hoga? Ya 0 hoga, ya 1 hoga. Right? Now, if you look at the function table or the truth table of a 2 input NAND gate, you are left with two options. The 0, 0 option and the 1, 1 option. 0, 1 or 1, 0 combination possible nahi hai, kyunke aapne dono inputs connect kar diye. So, what do you get when you have two zeros, a 0, 0 at the input? Well, the output is a 1. What do you have when the two inputs are a 1, 1? Of course, both the inputs are connected together, so you have uh, basically a 1. The output is going to be a 0. Now, what happens if you have a 3 input NAND gate and you connect all the 3 inputs together? Would you obtain an inverter? Yes, since you can only have two combinations, either all 3 zeros at the inputs or all 3 1s at the inputs. So, what do you get when you have all 3 zeros at the 3 inputs connected together? Of course, the output is going to be a 1. Jab ab 1 apply kar rahe, then of course, the output is going to be a 0. Now, let us see how we can use an AND gate to implement an AND gate. 
एंड एंड गेट बेसिकली क्या है इट इज एन एंड गेट विद एन इन्वर्टर कनेक्टेड टू द आउटपुट सो इफ यू कनेक्ट एन अदर इन्वर्टर एट द आउटपुट ऑफ एन एंड गेट व्हाट हैपेंस द टू इन्वर्टर्स कैंसल ईच अदर आउट एंड यू आर लेफ्ट विद एन एंड गेट हाउ डू यू ऑप्टेन एन और गेट यूजिंग एन एंड गेट वेल यू हैव टू यूज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री नैन गेट्स Now, to explain this conversion or implementation of an AND gate using an AND gate and the implementation of an OR gate using a combination of three NAND gates, let's have a look at the diagram. Let us first look at the implementation of an AND gate using NAND gates. NAND gate one functions like a NAND gate. The output of NAND gate one is shown by F one. Now this output has to be inverted so that we have an AND gate output. Another NAND gate, NAND gate two, is used as an inverter. Both its inputs are connected together and they are connected to the output of NAND gate one. Now if you look at the function table, the output of NAND gate two, which now has been connected as an inverter, is zero 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 one. Which is the function table or the truth table of an AND gate? Now let us see how we can implement an OR gate using NAND gates. An OR gate can be alternately represented by the AND gate symbol with bubbles at the output and the inputs. Now, if you just discard the bubbles at the input, what do you see? You see an AND gate. what do the bubbles mean well bubbles indicate an inverter so the two bubbles at the two inputs mean two inverters so how do you implement an inverter by connecting the two inputs of a nand gate so the circuit which represents the or gate is implemented by using three nand gates 1 2 and 3 NAND gates one and two are connected as inverters, and NAND gate three is used as a NAND gate. The function diagram confirms the operation of this three NAND gate circuit as a OR gate. We have just looked at uh, two circuits which uh, uh, describe the use of a NAND gate to implement an AND gate, and another circuit which describe the use of a NAND gate to implement an OR gate. Let us now look at the NOR universal gate. The NOR universal gate again can be used to implement an OR gate, an AND gate, an inverter, and a NAND gate. So, before we describe how we can implement all these circuits, let's have a look at the NOR gate. NOR gate basically. combines the or gate and an not gate so that means if the output of the or gate is inverted what do you get you get a nor function let's have a look at a two input nor gate so what are the combinations again you have four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 what should be the output okay what was the output for the or gate for the combination 0 0 it was a 0 since the nor gate is inverting the output of the or gate so you should get a 1 similarly for the input 0 1 what should be the output of the nor gate it should be the reverse of the or gate so the output should be a 0 again for the combination 1 0 the output should be a 0 and for the input combination 1 1 the output of a nor gate again is a 0 symbolically नॉर गेट को कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करेंगे इट इज़ वेरी सिमिलर टू द और गेट एक्सेप्ट फॉर ए बबल एट द आउटपुट व्हिच इंडिकेट्स दैट द आउटपुट ऑफ द और गेट इज ऑफ कोर्स बीइंग इन्वर्टेड इसको एक्सप्रेशन के तौर पे कैसे लिखेंगे आप वेल एफ इक्वल्स टू ए प्लस बी होल बार दैट मीन्स द इंटायर एक्सप्रेशन इज बींग इन्वर्टेड मल्टीपल इनपुट दैट मीन्स लेट्स ए फोर इनपुट फाइव इनपुट नॉर गेट्स होते हैं यस बिल्कुल होते हैं उसमें लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट थ्री इनपुट नॉर गेट कितने आउटपुट्स होंगे वेल थ्री इनपुट नॉर गेट के एट पॉसिबल इनपुट कॉम्बिनेशन हैं सो वी हैव एट पॉसिबल आउटपुट वैल्यूज 
क्या हो सकती हैं इसमें वेल फॉर द कॉम्बिनेशन जीरो 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 यू वुड हैव ए वन आउटपुट फॉर ऑल अदर कॉम्बिनेशन यू वुड गेट ए जीरो आउटपुट इसको एक्सप्रेशन में कैसे लिखेंगे द थ्री इनपुट नॉर गेट बेसिकली एफ इक्व टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी होल बार प्लस एज यू रिमेंबर वी सेट इट डज नॉट इंडिकेट एडिशन इट सिंपली इंडिकेट्स एन और फंक्शन द बार इंडिकेट्स द नॉर फंक्शन लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट द टाइमिंग डायग्राम अगेन लेट्स सपोज वी हैव ए टू इनपुट नॉर गेट हैविंग इनपुट ए एंड बी मैन ऑफकोर्स द आउटपुट एफ we apply a certain number of inputs at input a and b and let's observe the output through a timing diagram a sequence of ones and zeros is applied at the two inputs of the nor gate a and b as shown in the diagram the output of the nor gate for intervals t0 to t6 is shown to be zero let's see how at interval t0 the inputs the two inputs are both ones what should be the output looking at the function table of the nor gate the output should be a zero again for time interval t1 the output or rather the input b is a one so the output should again be a zero so if any of the two inputs is a one the output should be zero so if you look at intervals t2 t3 t4 t5 and t6 uh either both the inputs are ones or only a single input is a one therefore the output has to be a zero we just looked at the timing diagram of a two input nor gate now let us look at the nor gate as a universal nor gate why did we say it's a universal nor gate uh, well we can use it to implement any other gate let's again start by implementing the inverter so how do you in, uh, implement an inverter or a nor gate using the nor gate again if you just join the two inputs or the inputs three inputs four inputs together you get an inverter if you look at the function table of a nor gate when all the inputs are zeros what do you get you get a one when all inputs are a one what do you get the output is a zero so basically you have implemented an inverter how would you implement an or gate and an and gate using an or gate well implementing an or gate is very simple nor gate humne bataya tha kya hai basically it's an or gate and the output of the or gate is being inverted so if you put another inverter the two inverters cancel out and you end up with an or gate so nor gate aap ek le उसके इनपुट्स मिला दें दैट बिकम्स एन इन्वर्टर यू जस्ट कनेक्टेड टू द आउटपुट ऑफ एन अदर नॉर गेट दैट गिव्स यू एन और गेट इम्प्लीमेंटिंग एन एंड गेट यूजिंग एन और गेट वुड रिक्वायर ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री नॉर गेट्स फॉर दैट वी वुड बी लुकिंग एट ए डायग्राम बट वी वुड बी लुकिंग एट दिस डायग्राम इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर लेट्स स्टॉप फॉर टूडे today we looked at uh, logic gates which are the basic building blocks in any digital circuit we talked about the three gates the basic gates and gate or gate and not gate and then we talked about the two universal gates the nand gate and the nor gate inshallah we would be continuing with these uh, five gates in the next lecture see you in the next lecture khuda hafiz and assalam alaikum